Alright, so this will be the first game review from the car. Hopefully it doesn't sound like crap. Um, I'm reviewing for black. They asked why they are not single-digit Q. Okay. Typically, sing not getting to single-digit Q is defense. It's a little bit interesting that we jumped right here. Typically, the more common idea is to go into the corner. Like that, and just make life in the corner. Very easy, quick life. Easy peasy. But running away kind of means you want to fight right here, but then black immediately leaves. So that now you've left a uh, floating group. So this has no base here and no base here so you have this stick with no foundation but you're gonna leave it so definitely don't want to do that um, an idea you might see is here to start a fight where both sides are weak you could think about jump once and then go here um, and try to get that and then go here. That's another idea. But I really think the easiest uh, move to play is going to be the 3-3. It just immediately makes life. But definitely don't want to leave a floating stick. Okay, it looks like you really like this one. Uh, this is possible, but it does take away your 3-3 invasion later. Um, but it does get you more shape now. This move is technically Gote, but it, I think your opponent is probably going to respond. Uh, I think jump, jump, and counterattack is probably going to be a nice idea. Uh, maybe something like this. We can get something like that going. The idea is just to uh, play defense, but you could also attack a little bit, but make sure your group's okay. You are making life right here, but it is on the second line. Uh, this is a little too early to leave. Again, you have a stick. Um, at least it's better than the bottom because you have some area right here, but it's not enough for two eyes. So I think I would still want to play on. Okay. Uh, we are leaving it again. So if you want to get to single digit Q, this and this. Stop doing this. Don't leave dragons laying around the board. And a dragon is a string of stones with zero eyes. So we do not want to leave dragons laying around the board. Um, locally, this move's a little bit small. If you're going to attack, attack. Um, if we're going to seal the corner, seal the corner. Uh, cutting and fighting is fine, but you are unsettled a little bit right here, so trying to fight next to a weak group can cause a lot of trouble. If we were alive, this fight would be a lot easier for us to handle. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, this dragon is costing us a lot. It's a lot of moves. Trying to live on this dragon. I think go ahead and just go here, make shape, start making eyes. Because you want to stop playing on this dragon. It's taking forever to make life. So you want to get away. Uh, this isn't super valuable. If we're not going to live with the dragon um, and you're looking for a big move, I would say the right side probably. Still an open side. Okay, okay. You're cutting when you still have a dragon. Trying to fight with the dragon is really hard. Alright, so you immediately died with these two stones, so clearly a mistake. Uh, be very aware of this shape, this sort of L shape with one point jumps. It has a very dangerous vital point right here because it's a double peep. Uh, if you want to move right with a one space jump, it's usually a dog space or a diagonal. I think a diagonal is safer in this case because the dog's face is touching a stone, which can lead to complications. And again, we only need to just be strong and survive to get to single digit Q. 
Uh, I don't hate that you're trying to live in here, but the timing is still very off. This dragon's still not alive. This dragon, definitely not alive. Uh, white is still ignoring their stone too, though, so I would definitely try to use that to survive. So I would be trying to use this stone to make life. Let's see, maybe I can get some shape right here and start just making my stone strong. And then once my group is alive, uh, then I can come back and start making life up here, start fixing everything. And then once I fix everything, then I can start worrying about what the big moves are. But I can't do anything if these groups are just laying around. So trying to live in here is a little bit optimistic. Okay, white knows their loose ladder. Very good on white. And we're ignoring again, so kind of makes you wonder why you played these moves. So I want to say the big lesson is going to be stop leaving your weak groups. Uh, you can fix right here. Just a little bit better. And we are surrounded. Now it is a life and death problem. And a very difficult life and death problem. I don't know if I could live here. That would be very difficult. Uh, trying to cut, I mean, it's something, but I don't think there is a correct answer. So we'll see what happens. Uh, you should be trying to make eyes, if at all possible. I don't know how, but we need eyes. Maybe you can get this. And then here. <laughs> uh, it's close, but not quite. But you need eyes. You can't escape here. Okay. And black is looking pretty dead. Yeah, I don't see... And white is confident enough to leave. So, yeah, I think if both players agree that this dragon is dead right here, then I think it's going to be GG. So, this is one of the resignations, and one of the big things with the Colossi approach is making sure that you can get to the end of the game without dying. If you can't even finish the game without dying, then you don't really need to think about winning. You really need to figure out how to control the life of your groups, and how to have a solid game where you can just go to the end of the game without dying. And then once you can do that, you're gonna look for opportunities to attack and take a lead. So if you're not able to attack and take a lead uh, with strong groups, but you keep ended up playing defense, you can't do whatever you want, and you're just defending the whole game, and then a lot of the times you're dying, then winning the game is just not gonna happen. So if you wanna get single digit Q, you need to be fighting with strong groups, not with weak groups. I think uh, that is going to be a big lesson for this game. So with that, hopefully you guys found this review helpful. And hopefully the audio is not terrible since this is being recorded from the car. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.